Well, to manage a property successfully, you first need to start by having the vision for the property. It's like managing an organization. What we have seen across the real estate industry in Dubai and across a lot of our clients is that they look at the total revenues and total costs rather than looking into details at the cost allocation of a project. Cost allocation is an important factor to analyze for any development within the industry. We begin analyzing exactly the number of personal hours required for the project and the allocation of a project and the allocation of costs within that development rather than looking at total expenses and total revenues. One of the mistakes that a lot of property owners do is that they have a full-fledged team on site right from the handover of the project from the contractor, whereby when we come in and analyze a project, we make sure that we have the required amount of personnel at handover and we scale up as the occupancy within the building increases. We go into details of analyzing exactly the number of personnel required at that stage in time we forecast the projected occupancy within the project and we scale up as we go along. Otherwise, if you don't manage your cost allocation appropriately, you will end up having a full-fledged team on site that is inefficient and ineffective. The key is not to minimize cost. The key is to maintain the right level of cost for the desired vision or the desired target for the property. A lot of property owners make the mistake of having minimizing cost as their target, whereby what is important again is cost allocation. You may be overspending in one factors within your services such as cleaning or landscaping and underspending in maintenance. You may be overscoping the entire project and loading away or moving away from your actual uh, target grade or target vision for the building. So what's important is that you set your, t your target vision for the building first, then go into allocating costs in accordance with your vision. What this allows you to do is you have more control over the cost allocation of the property, which allows you to uh, have the right desired target vision for the property, which then allows you to attract the right level of tenant and the, and the quality of tenants you would like to bring in into your building. Um, and once you have that, then you control your cost allocation, you control the quality of tenants that you wish to have, which allows you to have a healthy return on investment at the end.